Hello and welcome to my series on working in the metaverse. In this series, we'll be looking at all the ways we're currently able to do our jobs that fulfill us and give us purpose or the ones that suck every little ounce of humanity out of us until we're just shapeless husks expiring on the couch wondering, is this it? Is this what it's all about? In the metaverse, we'll be doing all that but in the metaverse. So whether it's AR, VR, or whatever, we'll be looking and exploring all the ways that we can do our jobs virtually. And in this first episode, I'm gonna take a look at Meta's Horizon Workrooms. You may be familiar with Meta's Horizon Worlds. Legs. Legs. And while that's more focused on the sort of social aspect of the metaverse, work rooms is obviously catered more towards work. So let's jump in and just see what exactly we can get done in work rooms. So before we start, there are a couple things we'll need. First off is the VR headset, the Quest 2, um, or you can use the Quest Pro because currently those are the only ones that work rooms work with. And you'll also need a laptop or computer so you can set up your Meta account and your Workplaces account, which are kind of one of the same. And also download the Quest Remote Desktop app. And that's so you can actually see your desktop in VR. But we'll get to that. First off, let's just hop in and just explore what the surroundings and the place actually look like. And we're in. Now, to, before you can get to this point, you will have to do a couple of things. Obviously, sign into your account, make sure it's all linked up. It can be a little tricky, um, but you'll also have to set your desk space so that Horizons kind of knows the boundaries of which it can interact with your, uh, or which you can interact with your real surroundings. Now, before we um, get into the main juice of things, uh, you may notice that there is a big black void on my desk. And essentially what that is uh, for me is the pass-through window. So I can actually see my mouse, I can see my laptop and everything right here in front of me. Um, and this is great in case you have something like water or coffee or drink, um, or you're using a mouse and keyboard so that you can actually continue interacting with these things while in the virtual space. But as a starter little area, this isn't too bad, but there are a few other spaces that you can choose from. But let's just have a look at the um, main menu. Now, if you have your account set up with your workplace or in anything else, um, you'll see all your meetings here that are connected to your calendar. Uh, currently, I have none. Um, if you go to your rooms, you can go through all the different rooms you have. These are some that I use for work. And lastly, you have your personal office, which is this space. We can change it so that it's this kind of bright void of sort of endless nothingness, which I'm not a tremendous fan of. There's a dark version of it, which is a little nicer because it has a little aurora borealis, it has the night sky, some mountains, or you have a full pass-through mode, which for you may just be entirely black right now. But for me, I can see my monitors, I can see my entire surroundings, my camera is right here. I can see it all. So let's just go back to the lakes and cabin. Now, the main reason which you kind of want to do this is to see your actual computer, your desktop in virtual environment. So let's connect. So this is how you can actually see your monitors in a virtual space. And what's incredible about this is that I'm currently only using a 14 inch MacBook Pro with a 24 inch monitor. But when you're in the virtual world, obviously you can make your displays as big as you want. And not only that, you can actually add a third virtual display. What's incredible is this just sort of seamlessly acts as if I have three giant monitors placed right in front of me. My computer knows to kind of scale everything as if it's looking at these giant monitors. To demonstrate this, I'm gonna open up um, a project from one of my older videos. So let's just open up Resolve and take a look. This is just insane. <laughs> now, if you're as conceited as I am, you'll love this because obviously I get a massive view of myself. But whereas I would be looking at this on 
a 24 inch or even a 14 inch display here I have it blown up to nearly 40 maybe even 50 inches and it's incredible I can just scroll through this I can go through the thing I can look at everything here is so much bigger than as if I was just working on it normally now what else I can do is I can op open up notion and I can start working on that and say it's over here and I want to drag it to my other window and this is where I can just look at my YouTube channel stuff. So I have my mantra here, curiosity over criticism. I have video ideas, inspiration, my to-do list, blah, blah, blah. And say in my third window over here, I wanna have Twitter open so I can just kind of scroll through that while I work and distract myself. And it's amazing. You can just have these giant versions of your home screen just right here. And what's amazing is this is totally free. You don't have to pay for anything. There's no subscription, there's no add-ons. Everything is entirely free from the get-go. And this is only a small part of it. This is the sort of personal workspace that you can work in. There's also an entirely different kind of space if you wanna collaborate with others, which if you're sick of Zoom meetings and Teams meetings and things like that, using something like Workrooms will breathe a brand new life into those kind of meetings. If you wanna see a full video, I did one over on another channel called Get Connected Media, where myself and my buddy John just go through the entire feature set of working remotely or working collaboratively with others in Workroom. Now, some of the other things you can do is you have this um, pass-through here, which, there you go. Now you can either choose to have the pass-through mode on and kind of see your surroundings, or you can turn it off and you just have this sort of virtual desk. You can also, what's great is, work entirely with just your hands. You don't need to use the controllers when you're inside here. So you can see, doo -doo -doo -doo. the tracking is pretty dang good, I will say. And another thing, you can just go into settings and here you can see your avatar. So that's me. If the hand tracking comes back or maybe it won't, maybe it's just gonna hang out there. But I can see myself right there, which is pretty neat. You can go to your desk and this is where you can either reset your desk layout to make it a bit more accurate. Same with the whiteboard. And you can even set up a tracked keyboard. So if you do this, you can choose from a few different keyboards, mostly just Apple and Logitech. It's a little hit and miss, I will admit. I can't really get it to work properly, even though I have it set up here. They don't have a option for 14 inch, just a 15 inch, I think a 13 inch, and 16 inch. If you're working collaboratively with others, you can mute the microphone. Um, and other than that, you can see your battery and the clock and the time, and you can just go back to your monitors. I have found this to be such an amazing tool for times when I want to, well, for one, kind of refresh my environment. Um, sometimes I can get sick of just being in my room the entire time working as I am right now. So it's nice to be able to step into a different room or a different space and kind of just focus on what's right in front of me. Also, being able to have my whole workspace blown up like this is just an invaluable asset to be able to have at any time. Obvious downsides, the headset, it's not terribly comfortable to wear for long periods of time, but if you're able to kind of get into the zone and, get, and kind of get into a flow state, you sort of forget that you're wearing it. But what amazes me the most is that this is entirely free. So whether you want to use this for editing or for spreadsheets or for anything to do with your job, it just works really, really well. Everything down to the hand tracking, even the latency since I started using this has gotten so much better. This used to be quite slow and to the point where I wasn't really able to edit in it, but in the iterations that I've tried since the first time, it has just gotten better and better. So I know as a whole, Meta can be quite controversial to talk about, but I really do have to hand it to them when it comes to workrooms. They've managed to do a really, really good job 
and just give out a very tight experience when it comes to it. Now, that's not to say that there aren't some things I'd like to see improved in the future. For one, I'd love to see the customizability with monitors somewhat. I'd love to be able to resize them, reposition them, that kind of thing. I'd love if they added a virtual webcam so that I can kind of have a virtual view of my avatar in regular Teams calls and things like that. And as well, I'd love to see way more virtual environments because as you can see, the ones that are offered, especially in the personal spaces, are kind of bleak. I like the cabins ones, but like, that's it. So I'd really love to see kind of more on that in the future. And they are actively still updating these things, so it's not unlikely that we won't see... That's, or that's too many negatives. It's likely that we might see those improvements in the future. So if you enjoy content like this and you want to see more, especially in this sort of metaverse space, make sure you subscribe because, as I said, this is a series and I will be exploring some more platforms and products just like Workrooms. And if you have one in mind that you'd like me to check out, then just let me know down below because, hey, I, I love the free video ideas. Now, before you go, obviously, I really, I really appreciate you guys checking out, especially this far. And to show your appreciation, I'd love if you could share something nice that happened to you either today or just this week. Any little thing matters and it'd be nice if we could have a few positive stories down in the comment section below. My name's Robin and I'll make sure to see you in the next one.